That's a very famous song, or anyway, a famous lyric. Uh, people call it Flow Gently Sweet Afton now, though it was published as Sweet Afton in, that is to say, when it was published, it was titled Afton Water. That was actually the name of the melody it was published with, which almost nobody sings. That melody goes like this. She flow gently, sweet afton among thy green graves. Flow gently, I'll sing thee a song in thy praise. My Mary's asleep by thy murmuring stream. Flow gently, sweet afton, disturb not her dream. Six verses. However, there's an earlier version called Afton Braes. Braes is slope. Afton, of course, is a, a local river to Burns when he wrote it. And the tune indication on that, which was on a letter written on excise paper to Robert Graham. And the tune indicated was Banks of Tay. So it was written for another river. Tay is the longest river in Scotland, and that melody was by the preeminent composer of the Scots Baroque, James Oswald. It's a far more interesting melody than has ever been applied to it, and it's never been heard. So uh, not only that, but the earlier lyric is, uh, to me, a much finer lyric. As, as typical of Burns' early drafts, as compared to those he sent to his publisher. It's not sweet Afton, which is a bit sentimental. It's clear Afton. Of course, a clear river is sweet. So, here's this slightly different, but I think better lyric, and here is James Oswald's melody. Sweet same 
scented burk shades my baby and me. Thy crystal stream afton, how lovely it glides and winds by the cot where my Mary resides. How wanton thy current her snowy feet laves, and gathering sweet flowerets she stems thy pure waves. Flow gently, clear often among thy green graves. Gently, sweet river, the theme of my lays, my Mary's asleep by thy murmuring stream, flow gently, clear.